The evolutionist scenario that life generated from non-living matter by chance is disproved by science today. In addition, there is no mechanism in nature to carry out the alleged process called evolution. There is no natural mechanism whereby a single cell can be transformed into a more complex living creature and then go on and become the ancestor of millions of different living species. Darwin proposed a single concept as his evolutionary mechanism, natural selection. The title of his book clearly reveals the importance he gave in this mechanism, the origin of species by means of natural selection. Natural selection is based on the idea that strong individuals that are well adapted to their habitats will survive. For example, in a herd of deer threatened by predators, the ones that can run faster will survive. After a while, the herd will consist mostly of strong, swift individuals as the weaker and slower ones fall prey. However, this mechanism does not cause deer to evolve. It does not transform them into another species, for instance, horses. Natural selection only eliminates weak, disabled, and sick individuals and ensures the permanence and health of a particular species. It has no evolutionary power. Darwin was also aware of this problem. This is why he confessed in The Origin of Species that natural selection can do nothing until favorable variations chance to occur. About the emergence of favorable traits, Darwin was deeply influenced by one of his contemporaries, the French biologist Lamarck. Lamarck thought that living things passed their acquired traits to future generations. In Lamarck's view, giraffes evolved from deer-like creatures. Their necks extended from generation to generation as they tried to reach higher branches for food. Lamarck also believed that if the arms of the members of a family were cut off for generations, the babies would start to be born armless after a while. Darwin, who was quite influenced by these examples, came up with an even bolder claim. In The Origin of Species, he argued that some bears, while trying to hunt in water, evolved into whales. But both Lamarck and Darwin were wrong. Their ideas were contrary to some fundamental laws of biology. In their day, genetics, microbiology, or biochemistry did not exist at all as branches of science. The laws of inheritance were not known at all. Indeed, both Lamarck and Darwin thought that hereditary traits were transferred through the blood. Due to this primitive level of science at the time, the imaginary scenarios of the theory of evolution were not looked upon as odd at all. Darwin's theses had a great impact on the scientific circles of his day. However, Darwin was still distressed. In the chapter, Difficulties on Theory, he wrote, If it could be demonstrated that any complex organ existed, which could not possibly have been formed by numerous successive slight modifications, my theory would absolutely break down. Darwin's fears proved to be true soon after his death. The laws of inheritance discovered by an Austrian botanist, Gregor Mendel, caused Lamarck's and Darwin's assertions to collapse. The science of genetics that developed at the beginning of the 20th century proved that it was not acquired physical traits, but only genes that were transmitted to subsequent generations. This discovery made it clear that a scenario suggesting that acquired traits accumulated from generation to generation and generated different living species was implausible. In other words, there were no inheritable variations 
for Darwin's proposed mechanism of natural selection to choose from. Subsequently, the theory of evolution as advanced by Darwin has been collapsed early in the 20th century. All the other efforts by evolutionists in the 20th century could do nothing but only confirm that natural selection had no evolutionary power. A famous evolutionist, the English paleontologist Colin Patterson, admitted this when he said, no one has ever produced a species by mechanisms of natural selection. No one has ever got near it. And most of the current argument in neo-Darwinism is about this question. <laughs>